Well, we're here in Westminster today at the Money Live show. Um, I'll gloss over the other things going on in Westminster to do with politics. But uh, yeah, I mean, big theme for us is open banking. Uh, and certainly we saw this morning that's been a big feature of what people have been talking about. Uh, yeah, and that, I guess, the linkage of open banking to innovation and, you know, kind of how different providers, be it banks or fintechs, are responding to that opportunity. Yeah, so I have the privilege of leading what MasterCard does on open banking, so that's what I was talking about today, and team are here uh, to talk about that as well. We're uh, helping, we're tr trying to help make the open banking ecosystem become successful. Open banking, we think, is a really important part of how we will all interact with our money going forward. Um, and in Europe, that's been catalyzed by regulatory activity. But um, unfortunately, the, uh, the regulation perhaps has left behind a few things that uh, you know, might get in the way. So for example, we're uh, providing third parties and banks alike with some connectivity solutions to help them build their services without having to worry about plugging into bank APIs, we'll do that for them. And we're also providing banks with some risk management tools to help them deal with the potential adverse consequences. Yeah, it, it's not just about Europe. Um, we see open banking happening everywhere around the world, really, uh, often catalyzed by regulation, uh, and with those regulations often informed by what's happening here in the UK and Europe. And examples of that, that have countries that have gone live recently or whose regulations have gone live recently would include Bahrain, uh, Australia, uh, South Korea, for example. And, you know, that's exciting. But we also see markets that are, have been developed through really market forces. And the U.S. is probably the best example of that, where there's a huge amount of open banking activity going on. Uh, but that's really been driven by service providers creating offerings that customers want to use as opposed to something that's been forced by regulation. Yeah, I mean, if you look at what's happening in the financial industry, it's all about innovation. It's all about what, what new ways to better serve customers. Open banking is part of that. We see it as a catalyst, not a thing in itself. So that means that fintechs and banks alike are exploring how best to make use of open banking as part of their offerings. We, we talked about some research, for example, uh, when we spoke earlier today, research that we published in the UK about two months ago about consumer attitudes to open banking. And firstly, people don't know what open banking is, but they absolutely are interested in taking advantage of services that better meet their needs. And if that's got some open banking thing in it, then great. I, I think more generally from MasterCard's perspective, we just see that the whole open banking phenomenon is going to become the norm for how we all uh, interact with our money, whether you're a consumer or a business. And from our perspective, therefore, we're looking to kind of make sure that that new ecosystem is as is successful as it can possibly be.